Oh, <laughs> there we go. Hey, everyone, welcome to our first ever Holiday Hype broadcast. My name is Evan, and I am the Youth Director at Somerville Media Center and your host for tonight's broadcast. Joining me are students from our after-school programs. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Shiva. And Holiday Hype, are we going to talk about every holiday ever? No, 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 J just the ones around December. My name's Levon, and we're talking about all the ho all the holidays around December, all, all of them. Do you have, do you all have any idea how many holidays take place around December? I sure do. Not. Relax, everyone. There's no way we can cover them all on our own. That's where you come in, viewers. Please help us. <laughs> Linked at the bottom of our website, SomervilleMedia.org, you'll see a button to go to our Facebook page. Comment on our Holiday Hype broadcast post with the holiday you celebrate and what you are most hyped for. At the end, we will read your comments, so be sure to post ASAP if you'd like to participate. I'm hyped. Uh, about what? Just everything in general. <laughs> then let's get this show on the road, except not actually on the road, because that would be like really dangerous. To start us off, I sat down with my 100-year-old grandmother to talk about the history of her holidays. There. Hi, I'm here with my great-grandmother who is 100 years old, and I'm just going to be asking nice. her about a couple of Christmas traditions. So, um, let's say You want to sign at Christmas? Before Christmas, all four of us, I should six of us, four kids, and my husband and I, your grandpa, went down and got in the car, and we all went up the hill to cut down a Christmas tree. And all four of us cut down the tree together and put it in, then we came back to the house and had something more to drink. And then after we put the tree out to drip off, the next day, so, I don't know. I don't think we, we need to roll a, uh, a Jeff Jam. What do you think? Oh, all right. Just let me know when I'm live day, and I'll take it away. Christmas Eve, we all went to bed together, whatever. And in the morning, uh, well, Santa Claus had come. And in the morning, then, dot, no dot, one dot. could go. Look at the tree. You guys can see how far the video is, right? At the bottom, that little. So, uh, a funny story about this. Yes. When Donald and Teresa were together, and she stayed for the weekend, and it was Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, and she came, Oh, I want to see the tree. I want to see the tree. And my son, Donnie, said, Oh, no, don't you dare go in and look at that tree until all four of us are together. And then we can look at the tree. And I think that's for the most wonderful moments and precious moments. So, Christmas for me. Thank you. It's my grandpa in the background. <laughs> nice talking to you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Every time. Love you. Hug. Thanks so much, Levon, for bringing that video in. I love that in, in her family, everyone had to wait to be together to look under the tree. Meanwhile, in my family, my brother and I could not take our eyes off of it as presents just kind of loaded on and on and on and on. Um, anyway, we're going to open it to a discussion to our after school uh, students over here. It's going to get a little bit less scripted at this point. Uh, we're going to learn a little bit about who we have joining us. So starting off with the first question, what holiday will you be celebrating this December? And why don't we start with Shiva all the way at the back there? Um, that, you don't have to write it on that quite yet, but good to get it in advance. But just for this, simply, what holiday are you celebrating this December? I usually just celebrate uh, New Year's. Just, just New Year's? Okay. So, oh, cool. So what do you do for New Year's then? Um, we try to get as many family members as possible because most of my family lives in a different country, Turkey. Right. Um, so we basically just like... Um, like set up a big feast, eat food, like too much food. <laughs> <laughs> That's Stay up until is. 3 a.m. Right. Like every time. And before all of that, 
Um, we take a pomegranate, go to our front door, and then throw it on the ground and smash it. Whoa. It's, it's, it's a Turkish tradition. I love doing that. That is so... A pomegranate. Is there any specific reason why a pomegranate? No? Just because it makes a lot of mess and it's just fun to smash? That's great. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to learn as much as I can. And I mean, I feel like I got, I got a lot. So you know what? Yeah. Why, don't we, why, don't we, why don't we take that and move on? So Levon, what holiday are you celebrating this December? Um, I'm celebrating just Christmas, I guess, and New Year's. Christmas and New Year's? All right, Christmas two. Christmas. All right, sweet. And do you do anything that um, is maybe surprising, akin to pomegranate smashing, maybe, on your Christmas? <laughs> I mean, no, no pressure. Just there might be something that's a little bit unique to your family. I'm trying to think of something, but my family's kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> they might be watching. That's okay, though. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a classic Christmas. I just wanted to see, again, what I could learn. So anyway, why don't we start with you for the next question, Levon. What are you most hyped about for your Christmas holiday? And this is something, when you're done saying it, you can write on the sticky note and add it to our wall of hype which feel free to cover it it'll the idea is that we're going to cover it by the end hopefully so again yeah what are you most excited about for your christmas i'm probably most excited for um i actually should have said this in the last question but that's I fine go to my grandma's house um every christmas eve and we open presents there from her and my cousins and um yeah i'm really excited for that because i just get to hang out with my cousins and it's really fun that's awesome. Yeah, so I guess just and it doesn't have to be all that information because uh, we got it live. So you can just write, go into my grandma's house. I think the point is we're just kind of showing how many things there are to be excited about for everybody. All right, so while Levon writes that, I'll ask you the same question, Shiva. What are you most excited about? It, it can still be something you already mentioned if you want. I, I know you told us a lot already. So. Yeah, well, I like smashing pomegranates. Um, but for Christmas... And like all the holidays, I'm just happy to be with my family, even though I'm with them every single day. I just like spending time with them and eating food, because I like food. And it's just really fun to like open presents and like put up decorations and stuff. And then I get these little costumes for my cats and put them on. They hate me for a, f for a few days after that, but they still look adorable. Oh man, I tried to put my cat in a harness because we want to take him outside on adventures. But he just will not move. I think it's because he's a rag doll. But whenever he, when, <laughs> whenever we put it on him, he just flops over and just is like, I can't move. I'm paralyzed. I know. Same with my they cat. They do the same thing? Okay. So my cat's not weird. Good to know. All right. So I guess you would write on your sticky note, being with your family. I'm, and the only reason I'm kind of giving you the prompts is just because I want to show you guys that, you know, we're not asking you to write a whole school essay. It's just about spreading the love the most we can. We can. All right. So, Levon, since you're ready, we'll throw the next question at you. Is there any part of your holidays you would change if you could? You um, could say no, too. It's totally possible. I would make it so that uh, I get double the presents on Christmas. Fair. On Christmas Eve. Double the presents. Yeah, why not? More presents, yeah. yeah, why not? That's fair. Um, and Shiva's still writing away, but you can take a break quickly. What, what, is there anything you would change if you could about your holidays? Maybe Levon can stick that up for you so you don't have to climb across all the wires over there do the job yeah <laughs> so yeah shiva what do you think um is there anything you would change if you could about your holidays again you could say no it could be you could just be totally cool with what you got i don't think i really change anything um yeah that's fine that's totally fine that's great to hear honestly that's really great um all right so bouncing back to leave on um, is there any special food you guys eat around the holidays, uh, even if it's the classic Christmas dish? I mean, it is still divisive what you have for Christmas, so either way, I'm interested to hear what you got to say. What's your like, Christmas dinner? I don't really have a Christmas dinner. Like, I there's there's got to be like a dinner, but it's different every time, is that you're saying? Yeah, it's like a regular dinner. Oh, I, just I, a little bigger than normal because more people? Or, well, I don't even, I don't even know. Like, I, I don't even, well, last year I barely got to, like, because the get together was yeah. smaller. But I don't even remember. I don't remember if like we had a specific dinner. I'm not really sure. But I guess um, I like eating the chocolate that um, I get in my stockings around Christmas. 
Right. right? Yeah, so that's probably one of That's a good answer. I think I had so much chocolate over the holidays that like, believe it or not, I think I'm bored of chocolate. I don't know what's wrong with me. Call 911. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I seriously, sometimes when all of my friends are going to the store to get, like, chocolate, they're like, oh, yeah, I want to get brownies. And I just cannot decide what I want. Like, I, I feel like I need to buy chocolate because everyone else is buying chocolate. And I just end up getting something, like, weird. Like, oh, I'm going to get some banana chips. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, anyway, enough about me. Shiva, any special food you guys eat on your New Year's celebration? We, again... Do you eat pomegranate? Obviously. I, <laughs> I may or may not eat it off the ground, but... Okay, I mean, whatever. I just eat, As long as you pick up the pieces that are on the top of the pile, they technically did not touch the ground, right? Anyway, and on New Year's Eve, we used to go to one of my friend's house and have, like, a huge dinner. But we don't do that anymore. Um, but we still... We don't have a specific... Um, dinner, but we always come to the like Turkish people usually always come to the table with like a bowl of dry fruits. So before the dinner, banana chips, right? Yeah, yeah, sweet. Okay, so I'm not weird. Okay, you, no, okay, carry on dried fruits. You said okay, and then I just go to Whole Foods, great store by the way, and then I just eat and then I just buy everything I can possibly get, and I'm like, yeah, and then I bring it to the table and then we just eat them. So. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip along here because we've had a lot to say about these, which is really great. These are just like extra questions. I'm gonna skip right down to our last question, which is a challenge. Now, again, you should have ample ideas based on our discussion at this point of something that you can draw. Uh, I'm only gonna give you a minute uh, to do it. Did we just explode? <laughs> anyway, I just saw that from the corner of my eye. I'm like, are we on fire? Anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna give you guys a challenge. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be the two markers. So why don't you pass that other one? I'll give you actual paper. Don't you worry about that. The sticky notes would be pretty hard to draw on. So Levon, why don't you pass? Take one of those for yourself. Bring one to Shiva. Perfect. So I'm gonna give you a minute to draw something that represents your holiday using only one color. And I say random color, but somehow by chance the two markers I grabbed that actually worked well were red and green. It was not intentional. I did not do it because Christmas. I, did, I don't know, it just worked out that way. Anyway, maybe it's the holiday magic. Use the holiday magic to create a Christmas holiday hype masterpiece. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. Anyway, a minute, starting in three, two, one, begin. I see you guys like looking to me to follow the rules. Good, good, right on, okay. I'll be sure to keep you up to date with how much time is remaining. And again, you only have a minute, so we're not we're not asking for a masterpiece. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> the joy of live TV. You say whatever you're thinking, and sometimes you're thinking nonsense. But isn't that in the holiday spirit? All right, you guys have 30 seconds remaining, so find a way to <laughs> finish off what you guys got going on um, in 30 seconds. And if you're finished early, totally, you can show me that by putting your marker down. And if you both finish early, that works out for me. I don't want to ruin it anymore, so I'm just going to. Yeah. Oh, you're both done. OK, sweet. All right. So I'm going to stop the timer because we don't need it anymore. Uh, make sure it's not counting down forever. One time I had my stopwatch going on, and I like opened it up, and it said like three days. And I was like, oh my gosh, why is it counting down for so long? All right. So. Let's uh, reverse order from how we started the broadcast. Let's start with Levon. What have you drawn? Why don't you, why don't you hold up your drawing so we can see it? Um, Brian will do his best. We used markers so that we could actually kind of see it. So what do we got going on there? Uh, I drew a Christmas tree with presents underneath. Probably just looks like a big green blob, but... Um, because you had to use green, right? Yeah. Did you get the idea because you had the color green, or did you already have the idea? Uh, I already had the idea, but like I was like... Green, yeah, that works. Right, it worked out in your favor. And then the presents at the bottom, they, you can't really tell, but um, they're like right there. If only you had a different color. Now, is that is that the amount of gifts multiplied by two? Is that your dream Christmas tree or like your average Christmas no, tree? No, like, or well, it's it's just 
I, I didn't have much time. Oh, so then that's less than you would normally have under the tree? Good to know. Sweet. All right. All right, Sheba, what you got? What, what, what do you got for us? Um, I do do that for Christmas, but this is a pomegranate that will eventually <laughs> be dead soon. A pomegranate that will eventually be dead soon. Uh, wait, is that, so wait, that, the pomegranate is the big thing in the corner, right? The pomegranate's in the corner, right? Yeah. Is that the table? Yeah, this is the table with food. food. Oh, so you drew two different things for us. Yes. Great. Sweet. So then that's just like another part that yeah. you really like. So okay, it's sweet. food, food, and more food. Great. And All a right. table. All right. Thank you guys so much for indulging me in that. I just love art. <laughs> uh, and I even love it when uh, it's kind of rushed and improvised. Uh, that's why I love doing stuff like this with you guys. Uh, and sometimes an added art element makes it even more fun for me. I hope you guys had fun, too. It's not all about me, even though sometimes it seems like it is. Uh, anyway, and now check out this commercial for our brand new after school program, Music and Media, edited by Sebastian from our Makerspace Monday class. Check it out. Don't fake it, make it. Learn music and music video production at Somerville Media Center After School Youth Programs. Sign up today at somervillemedia.org. Welcome to the Jeff Jam Sing Song Show. My name is Jeff Jam. Let's sing. You'd better watch out. You'd better not cry. You'd better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. Checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. Checking it twice, gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town, that's right. It's time to deck the halls. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don ye now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Stroll the ancient yuletide carol. Fa la 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 la. Strike the harp and join the chorus. Fa la 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 la. Follow me in merry measure. Fa la 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 la. While I tell of you kind treasure. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Fast away the old year passes. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Sing we joyous all together. Fa la 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 la. While I 
tale of mule-tide treasure. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. All right, everybody, let's sing. Deck the hall with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Well, a tale of mule-tide carols. Fa la 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 la. La 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 Very nice, you guys. Hi, Faye. Who's that? Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. He's got a bag that's filled with toys for boys and girls again. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. Hang your stockings and say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Let's dance! Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. He's got a bag that's filled with toys for boys and girls again. Hear those sleigh bells, jingle, jangle, what a beautiful sight. Jump in bed, cover up your head, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. He doesn't care if you're rich or poor, he loves you just the same. Santa knows that we're God's children, that makes everything right. Jump in bed, cover up your head, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Elliot, here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Welcome back. Did you happen to recognize somebody in that video, the music and media video we just played for you? I know we played a couple of other ones after that, but the first video we played with our DJ performer, that was Shiva. We were just meeting Shiva a couple of minutes ago. Uh, Shiva, the one that was talking about throwing a pomegranate on the ground as part of her New Year's celebrations. That was, that was her and she did such a great job. And again, Thank you so much, Shiva and Sebastian, for putting together that video and making it really special. It, I loved how it came out. Now, I want to talk a little bit about our new program since it's new and nobody really knows about it. So the goal for that program is if you're just even a little bit interested in composing your own music, be it EDM, electronic kind of music, or if you have a traditional instrument that you want to come in, even if it's a trumpet and you want help with the production side of things, so mixing the audio and producing a music video to tell a story with that, that's what that program is all about. And so it's a 12-week program and we are launching it after the Christmas holidays and I'm really excited about it, so look forward to that. Speaking of incredible students, I've got another, uh, another student-created video for you guys to check out from a wonderful student named Dylan. Dylan created all the visuals you are about to see. However, the music was created by the Boston-based band Lemon Demon. Check it out. Old Godzilla was hopping around. 
Tokyo City like a big playground when suddenly Batman burst from the shade and hit Godzilla with a bad grenade. Godzilla got pissed and began to attack, but didn't expect to be blocked by Shaq, who proceeded to open up a can of Shaq too. when Aaron Carter came out of the blue and he started beating up Shaquille O'Neal. Then they both got flattened by the Batmobile before we could make it back to the Batcave. Abraham Lincoln popped out of his grave and took an AK-47 out from under his hat and blew Batman away with a rat at that tap, but he ran Steady when Abraham Lincoln came back with a machete But suddenly something caught his leg and he tripped in Indiana Jones took him out with his whip Then he saw Godzilla sneaking up from behind Then he reached for his gun which he just couldn't find Cause Batman stole it and he shot and he missed And Jackie Chan deflected it with his fist Then he jumped in the air and he did a somersault While Abraham Lincoln tried to pull vaults on the Optimus Prime But they collided in the air Then they both got hit by a Care Bear stare This is the ultimate showdown Many lives were claimed, but eventually the champion stood. The rest saw their better. Mr. Rogers in a bloodstained sweater. This is the ultimate showdown. Ultimate destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions. As far as the eye can see. And only one will survive. I wonder who it will be. This is the ultimate showdown. That was incredible. I really love how Dylan used like Photoshop and dragging uh, image files around to tell the story. I was basically, I was just telling my uh, my friends here who are about to perform for you, just stay tuned for that. I was just telling them that it was basically like a popsicle stick puppet show behind a table, but of the future. Anyway, it's time for us to meet a couple of Christmas characters, Ordle and Minton. Take it away, guys. Hello, everybody. My name is Orto the Ostrich. And my name is Minton the Chicken. You got that? Minton the Chicken. Extravaganza. Global. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, he's my cousin. Uh, very braggy, you might notice. I'm not braggy, I'm only speaking the truth. <sighs> Haters. Okay. Okay, so uh, I don't approve of this but minton are you gonna are you gonna or not tell you about your new quote unquote holiday oh i forgot about that thank you dear cousin so my new holiday minton a madness oh my god perfect so minton madness occurs at uh 11 59 p.m december 25th for about five seconds, where you can do anything you want. Do anything you want. 
Too bad it's only for five seconds. You can also worship me, the god of all things extra, very cool. T you can take anything you want for that one f five seconds. Take it, take, take, take! Minton, you're not respecting the Christmas spirit. Christmas and this time of year is all about giving and being with your family and love and, you know, stuff like that. Can you seriously copy and paste that from a children's Christmas book? Maybe. Well, anyway, never mind all that gooey little rat poop he just said. It's all about the presents, the presents, the presents. I'll throw my old good Granny Magoo out the window for a brand new A Station 20 or um, Dayblation 20, but I love it all. I, could do any, I couldn't do anything without my presents. Forget my family. I don't care that they gave me it. I just want more, more, more. Oh, Minton, will you stop being all about presents? Remember that year that you gave me wrapping paper for uh, Christmas? Shut up. That was out of good memory. You're lucky you got anything from me. You're the great star of everything. I can't believe you're... Wait. Are we on a TV show? Yeah. I want to go with the egg dice. We probably should. Okay. Change the place. I love you. Oh! oh yeah. The end, everybody. The month. end. Yeah, we love each Woo! other so much. Give me presents, and I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ben and Kai. Uh, let's give them a minute to transform back into humans and bring their mics back up so we can uh, interview them just like we did our other two friends. So you guys can go ahead and bring those mics back up. <clears throat> We're going to ask yes. you holiday questions as before. So this is basically just interview style at this point. Uh, all right. So... Uh, no, we're gonna we're we don't have time to move the move the chairs unfortunately, and we don't have a lot of space. So, uh, are you guys able to use your puppets as like cushions, um, and just kind of like? Oh, we're gonna be sitting. You, you no, know, you the way you guys were before. Remember when when we were like making sure the camera was okay and everything, and you guys were, where your heads were peeking out over the table. Mm -hmm. Just do that before. So like, yeah, Dad. it's gonna be really quick. I'll make it quick. I promise. Bring down the um, all right. So what? What holiday are you going to be celebrating this December, Ben? Um, I'm actually going to be celebrating two. Two? Okay, which um, ones? Well, I've already started Hanukkah. Um, right. And in a few weeks, I'm going to be starting um, Christmas. Oh, great. So is it is it like one side of your family celebrates one and the other celebrates the other? Yeah. Oh, really cool. Uh, one thing, uh, Ben, can you move your mic a little bit over to me so that they can see your face on the camera there? Yes. You can see yourself in there. Yeah, just make sure that they can see your face. Perfect. Uh, all righty. So, Kai, what about you? Well, I'm. Well, I'm just. I just celebrate Christmas. There's nothing else to celebrate except besides meatballs. Uh, I just celebrate Christmas. Nothing special. Completely That's... unique. Hey, Christmas is still special, but I know what you mean. You're talking about how it's, you know, it's nothing uh, 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 surprising. Just typical. Yeah. But what? you know what? That's why we're doing a holiday hype today, so we can learn about all the crazy things that are going on in the holidays. And, oh, my gosh, when I did my research for today's show, I was overwhelmed with how many things are going on. And we're only going to be scratching the surface. Anyway, this is the part where we're actually going to use some sticky notes. You'll notice that Levon and Shiva did one each already. Uh, so I'm going to pass this marker and the sticky note to you, Ben, just to start us off. So Ben, what are you most hyped for out of all the things that are gonna be happening, all the holidays? So I know you've got, what is it? You've got Hanukkah and Christmas. Uh -huh. So if you had to pick one thing that you're most hyped for. Can you write it down? You don't have to write it, like say it first and then you can write it down while Kai is saying the same thing. And then you guys will switch, you know what I mean? Probably the thing I'm most hyped for is um snow i really love just taking out in the snow like you know jumping in um you make snow forts uh yeah like really elaborate ones well usually i make like s kind of small snow walls and i like do snowball fights you know classic oh, yes i i for whatever reason i just love making like a perfectly round snowball <clears throat> and every snowball fight i would never be like throwing them at people i would just make a huge arsenal of just like snowballs for everybody else and for whatever reason i just like using like two mittens to just like make it perfectly round and then for, have someone just destroy it like two seconds later. I don't know why I, I was doing it. Anyway, so basically, that's really easy for you to write. You just have to write snow. 
four letters. Hey, what are you what are you uh, most hyped for, Kai? Well, you know, I love. <laughs> oh, Gotta my love cheek. <laughs> you okay? Excuse me for that accident, folks. <laughs> so, what um, are you most hyped for? I think I'm most hyped for, you know, well, I'm, of course, I'm hyped for presents right. and uh, school, no school. But I think maybe if I were trying to, you know, exit out those obvious things I really do like, I'm looking at you, right, Mama? Um, I would really like maybe just like sitting down, reading comic books, and um, and just maybe in my blanket and having some hot chocolate. That sounds really relaxing to me. Or just going out in the snow and having some hot chocolate right afterwards. So, would you say a good way to kind of capture everything you were saying is just chilling? Just chilling. Just chilling. With some hot chocolate and marshmallows. I mean, you can write all those words if you want. But I'm just trying to make it easy for you. Chilling, I mean, that's relatable. I, I'm excited for chilling. Can I just put it on? You absolutely can. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. As soon as you find time to put it on, we can just add it to our wall of hype. Uh, I understand it's a little tricky to see our wall of hype, and you know what? Since you guys are the ones that decorated our wall of hype, I wonder if it's possible. Can we just hold a different time? You can do that. I think it's enough for you to grab it. Can you? Oh, look at that. Thank you so much, Brian. This so check it out. Yeah, Look I, at that. I made this amazing hype, and I did wall of. Um, and you can see the amazing hype. They did such a good job, and I was just, I'm, I was worried we weren't going to be able to appreciate it. So I'm very glad uh, Brian gave us this opportunity to check it out because they did a very good job. And they only really had like 30 seconds to do that. Uh, so very great job, guys. Anyway. Five? Oh, yeah, we, we went a little over yet. It's okay, though. Not a big deal. Um. All right, Kai is adding all kinds of details to that. So while Kai is sticking that on, go ahead. I'm going to ask Ben the next question. Is there a special food that you eat around the holidays, Ben? Um, well, I wouldn't... I, like not, dinner? Like what do you guys have for dinner? Is it the same thing every year? Is it different? Um, we usually we usually kind of... Uh, it, I don't know. Some, some parts are different. Some parts are the same. Usually on Christmas, we have like a kind of like... I think it's called trifle, maybe. So oh. it's like it's like this this big bowl, and then we got like one layer of like pudding, and oh. one layer of like like um some sort of red thing, one layer of some sort of green thing, and it's kind of but all like desserty, and then you kind of cut it and into like slices, kind of. Oh. So yeah. That sounds delicious. Kai, have you ever tried that? Like, have you ever like gone to Ben's house and tried that out? Trifle? No. Oh. Of course well, not. I mean, I mean, I'm glad we're hearing about it because I, I, I mean, we were saying before, right? Like, I celebrate Christmas as well, and like, I'm here to learn about new stuff. So I'm very glad you shared that, uh, Ben. All right. So I'm realizing our time at this point. So I'm gonna speed along a little bit and skip right down to our our challenge because this is something you definitely have to do. So you should have a lot of ideas with your skit, with all those questions I asked you guys of at least one thing that represents your holiday that you're celebrating. So I'm gonna give you a challenge. You only get one minute to draw something that represents the holidays for you. And remember, we talked about this before, it can be something as simple as a meatball, <laughs> right? That's why you brought it up, Kai. And I realize you both need a marker. Do you still have the green one I brought you guys? Uh, it's at the on the ground. Here's a red, a red one. Here's a red one for you. Mine. And I said this to the other group, but I feel like it's worth sharing with you guys. It was totally a coincidence that I grabbed green and red. Do not start yet, though. I'm just writing my name. Chill. You don't have to write your name. We. It's not going to go I anywhere. I know. It's just a habit. Oh, just yeah. a habit. That's a good I'm habit to sorry. have. Sorry. All right, guys. So we are going to be starting the drawing challenge of something that represents your holiday to you, and you only have one minute to draw it. In three, two, one, begin. I will give you a 30 seconds left warning and also a 10 second left warning. So it will not surprise you. So just try your best to draw something that represents your holiday to you. Remember, it can be super simple, Kai. I know I know. I can see the artist in your brain trying to make something really special. No, it just like, I really can't, like besides seeing. You, cel you celebrate Christmas, right? Yeah. So there's all kinds of decorations and kind of maybe games, maybe activities. Who knows? We've got 30 seconds remaining. 30 more seconds. Just, just draw 
See, I mean, I gave you those suggestions for a reason. All right, and we got 10 more seconds. So maybe you have to go with the meatball. That's totally fine by me. A challenge. They call it a challenge for a reason. All right, and stop. Caps on those markers. We'll start with Ben. Uh, ben, why don't you hold up what you've drawn there and show us. Try to use markers so you can actually see it on the camera. It should be okay. decently yeah, easy see. to see if we switch to the front camera. Yep. Thank okay, you, Brian. So, so while Brian zooms in on that, just make sure to hold it steady and explain to us what we're looking at here. So, yeah, it's really sketchy, but it's just um, a picture of me in the snow. Um, I'm wearing, you know, my jacket and my hat that looks kind of weird. And um, and then I was trying to, and then here's snow over here. Are you singing? Um, well, I was trying to add some like music in the back, music in the background because like. You know, that's, there's a lot of, like, Christmas and Hanukkah and, and you know, uh, winter songs. Right. But I only got one music note, but, um, yeah. Sweet. All right, thank you so much. And, Kai, what were you able to come up with? What are we looking at here? A present. I just couldn't think of anything else. That's totally fine. That's okay. totally fine. They call it a challenge for a reason, like <laughs> I said. Uh, thank you so much for indulging me in that, uh, you two, as well. Again, I said it to the other group, but I'll say it again. I love art, and I'll take every excuse I possibly can get to talk about how much I love art. All right, guys, so let's see. I did not scroll down on the script. Give me a second. Um, all right, so we are going to actually skip ahead because I'm realizing we're actually running out of time. So you know what? We are going to remind you guys that you can share your holidays with us by going to the website, summervillemedia.org, scrolling to the bottom, finding our Facebook. There's a little circle button with the Facebook logo on it. There's a post that's about holiday hype for today. You can comment on it and um, let us know what you're hyped about so that we can add some more sticky notes to our wall of hype. Uh, and now it's time for a throwback to our Makerspace Monday commercial. Check it out. And make sure to comment. All right, so, oh wait, hey, mics are on, mics are on. Did you, did you draw that? Do you mind if I see the crumpled up one? Thanks. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You drew this? Draw more. Make more media magic at Somerville Media Center. Makerspace Monday returns, continuing to provide a supportive space for young creators to learn various media forms. New to Somerville Media Center is our YouTuber Tuesday program. Taught by professional YouTubers, this class paves the path from passive interest to sustainable career. And if you love to laugh, Somerville Night Live has got you covered. Learn to improvise, script write, storyboard, and direct your very own comedy show. For more information, please visit our website at somervillemedia.org. Hello, and welcome to the Jeff Jam Sing Song Show.
Registration is now opened for after the holidays. Yay. So that commercial you saw for Makerspace Monday, that little throwback we did for you guys, we have registration now opened for Makerspace Monday's next semester. So if you're interested in making some cool stuff like we were making today, please sign up on uh, our website. All right, uh, we hope to see you there. And speaking of the holidays, let's... Oh wait, no. It's actually it's time for some holiday games. We're, we ran out of time for something, so I'm jumping ahead here. So, what do you guys? What game do you guys got for me? Bring it on. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it's called. It does not have smashing smashing pomegranates involved. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay, so it's basically like Pictionary with no eyes. So, you basically just take this paper plate, put it on your head. Super easy. And then you are told, for example, like draw a Christmas tree. Without looking, we just draw a Christmas tree and then anything else that we are told to draw and then look at it and then that's, laugh at it. That's awesome. Okay, so can we actually try that right now? We, we do have to, we only have time for one round, so why don't we go with the Christmas tree? Okay. So you guys try your very best. Put that on your head. Give it a shot. Uh, is, do you have a certain time or is you just finish when you think you're done? Finish when you think you're done. You can tell us more things to draw if you want or... I think I'll just in the interest of time, I'll probably just go with the one. Sorry, guys, we ran a little too long with our interviews, but that's great. Anyway, you can begin trying to draw your Christmas trees in three, two, two one. one, begin. Watch them just draw it perfectly. Oh. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> this is sad. All right, hold that I'm up. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try No, again. you got to, come on. It's part of it. You got to laugh yeah. at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, show us what you got, Levon. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud of myself. It might be a little bright. Okay, thank you, Brian, so much. Did we see, did we see your Shiva? Uh, <laughs> How'd you actually, I mean, now, I can this. see the stack going on. This, ladies and gentlemen, is art. I really, I did not expect that. You know that. what? So is this. You know I'm, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm really proud of myself. Think about it as a tree, as a green blob. It, 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 I, I, I've it. never heard of that game, so thank you guys so much for sharing it with me. Again, I wish we had more time to play more rounds, and we'll probably, on our second broadcast, when we do Holiday Hype again, we'll probably bring it back, just because we didn't have enough time to really enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, friendly reminder, today is Giving Tuesday. Uh, your donations support the youth programs for all these creative kids you're seeing today and hearing about. Check out this video for more information. All right, so this is only, okay.
All right, welcome back. We've got one last game from Ben and Kai. All right, so we are doing a, a ring toss. It looks like we're going to start with Kai. Basically, Kai, you're going to go as far back as you can, basically like to where the edge of my desk is. Yeah, not too far. Yeah, and you're going to go as far back as you can, uh, Ben. And you're basically going to try your very best, Kai, to toss those rings and land it on the top of your cone head. Can you move the hat just a little bit forward so it's pointing straight up? Perfect. You look great. All right, so go ahead, Kai. You get two chances. See if you can get any on there. Give it a shot. Oh. Very close. Okay, one more try. You were so close. Last oh. All right, now switch. You don't have to worry about uh, moving spots. Just basically we'll have Kai wear the hat. You grab the rings. And then we'll move right on. I am back. <laughs> All right. Let's give it a shot, Ben. Let's see what you got. I won with the ball. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it's staying there. That doesn't count quite, but very good. All right, one more. Let's go right on my head. Okay. It takes a lot of practice to do this thing. Try to throw it a little. Oh, yeah. There you go. Ah, oh, it's so close. Ben, no! All right, guys, get near your mics because we've got one quick thing to read. Uh, GG's, everyone. GG's. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, got it. Yeah. Don't worry good about Good grapes, it. great grannies. I think he means good game, but you don't say that IRL. But that's like saying LOL after things are funny. LOL. <laughs> Kai, tell me a joke. Oh, why did the pair half-heartedly swallow an entire marble Gucci bathtub? Why? Because he was incredibly starving. <laughs> LOL, ha, 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 ha. Uh, what's IRL? <laughs> In real life. Wait, so you can't say GG's. Or LOL in real life, but you can say IRL, IRL. My head hurts. Mine too. Hey, I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to help you all. You can take it or leave it. All right, I think that's a pretty good time to uh, bring it to ah. our Facebook post. So we've got a comment from Cat Powers, our very own Cat Powers, and Cat Powers says, "I celebrate solstice because that's when the sun." Uh, Giant Danes to come back to Somerville in little increments, but it comes back. All right, so those are our Facebook posts. Thank you so much. And also, speaking of taking it or leaving it, um, it is time to leave it. Uh, but here's the thing. We got nowhere near our, our wall is nowhere near full quite yet. So we're going to have to hammer out enough sticky notes as we close off the day so guys try to even if it's like meatball whatever it may be try your very best to fill up the board with things that things you're excited about go nuts for it uh i'm sure we can work this out as a team anyway we'll leave you on this note overflowing with hype um this was holiday hype from somerville media center youth programs have a great night somerville see ya Bye. oh my god what has happened? That's hype. <laughs> That's hype for you. Hype.